How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Blade Bias. Finally, it is time to talk about the Kraken Trainer V3. Now, this does have the Zippy Balasong inserts in it, the weighted inserts, uh, but that does not really change much. Uh, my points will still remain, and I've tried it both with and without, with and without. I just left them in because I have to give this back Ted to Ted soon, um, and I wanted to leave them in just to make sure I don't forget them. Um, so yes, of course, this was lent to me by Ted Flips, the actual goat. Uh, we love Ted. So the Kraken Trainer V3, um, of course, has a new design, most notably a new blade design, which is pretty neat. It's more of a Tonto shape, which is pretty cool. Um, it flips very, very different. Um, the handles Texturing is a little bit more aggressive, and the jimping is also texturing and jimping is all is all a little bit more aggressive, um, which is very nice. Just some some improved grip over what already was a battle song with good grip. So, not much to say about that, but it is some nice little improvements. Now, the new blade of the Kraken Trainer is what really makes the difference here, and that is because. The Kraken Trainer V2.5, I unfortunately don't have one right now because I do not have a trainer blade anymore. Um, but the Kraken Trainer V2.5 was a very distinct feeling. It was a strong handle bias with a lot of tip weight, which means that it was very momentum heavy and it was very flowy. But some people were very, very, they hated that thing. Now, I don't entirely understand why there was such a violent hatred. And unfortunately, in the Balasong community, there is a lot of that echo chamber behavior where, oh, this person said that this knife is bad. I haven't even tried it, but I'm just going to agree with them because they said it's bad. So I feel like with the Kraken Trainer, a lot of people just there is a few people who were just like yeah this sucks i hate this and then most people just without even trying it just blindly agreed with them because that happens a lot in the balasong community um so oh jesus so i feel like that's kind of what happened with the 2.5 kraken trainer there are some people who genuinely dislike it um but there are also a lot of people who haven't even tried it and they just hate it for no reason um but regardless the kraken trainer does not feel or did not feel sorry like the live blades did and that is is kind of where i see the v3 kraken trainer having its benefit personally just gonna say i like the flipping of the 2.5 kraken trainer more i like it significantly more to be honest with you um i think the v3 kraken trainer is boring which we'll get to um but so yeah the 2.5 kraken trainer is a ton of fun but it's really goofy you know it's just not usual you know it's, it's just a little it's a little goofy and it's not good as a first ballad song it's not good as a kraken trainer to train you to flip on the live blade krakens it's really not that great for that because the balances are so different if honestly that's kind of what the swordfish filled for me was like a Kraken Trainer-esque experience. Um, I mean, especially now that I have the Nautilus, it's kind of like that that strong handle bias and, and flow is apparent in both of those knives, but for different reasons. Um, but regardless, I think the Kraken Trainer, even me loving the 2.5 so much, I also wanted to see a new blade because it's just so hard to recommend it to people because of that weirdness you know if somebody's going hey i have a vulp and i'm looking to buy a new balasong what should i buy the kraken trainer is a very good recommendation but it's hard because of that weird balance on the 2.5 now with the v3 it is a lot more neutral it is a lot closer to the tonto live blades um which is good i don't have a tonto live blade on me right now so i can't a, B, compare them next to each other, but it is a lot closer. I can't really say how close, because like I said, I don't have one, but it is closer. And that is both a positive and a negative, because 
Yes, it is good. It is good that now somebody wants a good standard workhorse battle song. The Kraken Trainer, well, a, a trainer battle song, I should say. They want a workhorse trainer battle song. The Kraken Trainer is a solid, solid recommendation and something that I am now very comfortable recommending to people. I don't have to say you can get it, but you might not like it. No, I'm sure most people will like the Kraken Trainer, especially if it's one of their first good battle songs. Um, However, I have said on numerous occasions that the Krakens just get boring. After a while, the build quality and the grip and all that is absolutely fantastic. And that is something that doesn't ever change. However, the flipping of the Krakens, the Live Blade Krakens, is just so... Here's the thing with the Krakens, right? They came out and they swept the competition. Krakens were easily the best knife for the money for the longest time. I still think they are some of the best knives for the money. Um, and some of the overall best knives for modern flippers. Um, but after a while, their balance is so... The balance and weight distribution is so standard and reliable that it kind of gets a little boring and uninteresting and uninspiring and that that's one thing but also the other thing which is one of my main complaints with just battle songs in general and just the battle song hobby is that there are so many makers trying to make kraken adjacent products there is a lot of things that i find that i just don't care about because they're just the same thing reskinned. It's there's so much stuff. Most, not most, but a lot of new battle songs could be categorized as Kraken adjacent or replicant adjacent um, in terms of the aluminum space. When you get into titanium, it's a little bit different. Um, but in this kind of budget range, it's a lot of stuff is just Kraken adjacent or replicant adjacent. Um, and it's kind of boring and it's very tiring to see, which is why I like things that are doing something new. Um, but I think over time, I'm just so burned out of the Kraken and especially the Live Blades. They just feel so reliable and consistent, which is what's really good about them. But that also, if you're flipping strictly for fun, like I do, that also kind of poses the issue of that, yeah, after a while, they're just not really fun anymore. Um, which is why you never really see me flip my, my Live Blade Krakens anymore. I have two of them, um, and I don't really flip them anymore. Because after a while, they just get a little stale. And I want to just reiterate here that the Krakens are insane for, like, competitive and performance reasons. They are very, very reliable, very consistent, very easy to flip. But that, like I said, kind of comes back around to being if you're strictly flipping for fun, you know, after a while they do get a little bit on the uninteresting side. Um, just like an old reliable kind of thing. You know, if you're gonna be driving your car to work every single day for years and years and years and that's all you really do with it, and of course, you're going to want something that's going to be reliable and last a long time, and it doesn't matter how fast it is. But if you're taking your car, car out and racing it, or going 120 miles per hour down the highway at 4 in the morning, you don't necessarily care about reliability. You're just trying to get something that's fun and that's fast. So, you know, that's the, the difference there. Is like the Krakens are reliable, and they are a good baseline. However, after a while, they can be a little bit on the bland side. And I feel like the Kraken Trainer V2.5 was very much on the fun side um, and very much on the unique side. And the V3 brought it back to where the Live Blades sit, which is very reliable, very consistent, but a little bit boring. So that's kind of that's kind of all I have to say. Um, overall, I think the handles are just some little improvements that are very nice. What I really, really would love to see, Lucas, if you're watching this video, is offer both blades. That is what I wanted from the start, was I wanted, similar to how the um, 
the live blade kraken have a bowie and a tonto blade having two blades on the trainer would be perfect because i could recommend oh for like a newer flipper get the tonto blade because it's a little more standard it's better for learning on but if you want something more fun you know get the well it's technically also a tonto blade it's like a japanese tonto um but when i was thinking about like a while ago when i was talking we talked i talked with ethan a few times about it about having another kraken blade we always wanted to have both blades available even if it's just in the calamari clearance section you can buy a spare blade um with untuned bushings like i think that's perfect because there are people like myself who will prefer the old blade and the 2.5 kraken offers something that is very special and that i love a lot but there are also people who absolutely despise the thing and what is going on there what the hello there's like a string in there um there are also people who absolutely will love the v3 blade and will hate the 2.5 blade so i just wish they offered both in the same way that the kraken live blades offer both blades or maybe do like every couple weeks is a different drop whatever whatever they plan to do or whatever they would plan to do i just wish you could do i just wish you could get both blades because discontinuing the 2.5 is a very sad sight to see i am very glad that the v3 exists because it is much better for newer flippers and also people who want something more reliable however i am sad to see that the 2.5 is gone um so yeah I would love to see both blades available, even if it's just like, hey, every two or three weeks we drop a batch of the 2.5 blades. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but that's what I would love to see. Overall, some good improvements. Very, very good improvements for people who want something that are a little more standard. Me, personally, I sit on the fence of liking things that are more fun rather than being more standard. So I still prefer the 2.5 blade. But the newer handles are overall an improvement. I do like the new handles a lot. The jimping is just more, oh geez, more aggressive jimping is always nice. I think aggressive jimping is very, very cool. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. See ya.